The U.S. Customs and Border Protection unmanned aerial system that has been so successful in border security, counter drug operations, disaster relief, and humanitarian support, patrolling the skies of the U.S.-Mexican border along the southwestern United States, the U.S.-Canadian border of North Dakota, and over the Atlantic and Caribbean seaboards, will now be operating in the airspace of the entire 1,200-mile Texas-Mexico border and over the Gulf of Mexico, environments that are rife with illegal drug smuggling and illegal border crossing activity. A ribbon cutting marked a new era of border security and national security efforts by U.S. Customs and Border Protection in Texas. In a recent commencement ceremony at the Corpus Christi Naval Air Station, CBP Air and Marine leadership, along with Congressional and U.S. Navy leadership, recognized the coming of the unmanned aircraft operation specifically designed to patrol the skies of the Texas-Mexico border, the Gulf of Mexico, and the Western Caribbean and Eastern Pacific Oceans. So what we celebrate here today with the sixth placement of a UAV in the Homeland Defense is a commitment to continue to go down this road so that we have the kind of vigilance and situational awareness which the UAV can provide and can supplement the work of our pilots, our Border Patrol agents, our, our CBPOs on the land ports, seaports, and airports of this nation. We do know that this new eyes in the sky will provide our men and women in the ground the intelligence needed to protect our borders. And as we look, you know, we want to make sure that in the U.S. Congress, we provide the funding. And just, just recently, we provided a little bit over $600 million, which is the largest infusion of border security dollars that we've ever had. And again, this is important to make sure that we realize there because they would not only provide the, tech the technology, the men and women that we need to hire to make sure that we have uh, the border security, but it would also provide the funding to two new UAVs. CBP P-3 aircraft pilots have been flying counter drug operations out of the Corpus Christi Naval Air Station for more than 25 years. The addition of the UAS mission gives the P-3 pilots the advanced capability they need to perform optimal law enforcement from air to ground. And we have, you know, the 35 pilots here that are P-3 pilots, and when they're not downrange flying P-3s and they're home, they could be flying a Predator. So they can leverage that experience they've got from, you know, long-range flying down in the, the transit and source zone, and they could take that and use it with the Predator. Operating from Florida to Arizona, the aircraft will be deployed for border security and surveillance missions. However, it also serves an equally important role as a contingency response vehicle, able to respond to national and natural emergencies. You know, this is a good aircraft for responding to floods, predicting where there's failures in dams and dikes, predicting and providing unusual situational awareness to ground controlled infrastructures, and most importantly, responding and working with agents and officers on the ground to respond in emergency situations to look for people people who are lost, warm bodies in cold water. The forward-looking infrared systems are especially optimal for that kind of help. And so three months later, North Dakota got floods that year. And we launched the Predator, and during that time period, we flew the whole state of North Dakota. We surveyed with the high-definition synthetic aperture radar all of the key bridges, all of the key dikes and dams, fed that information as a database to the state, local, contingency managers. We had floods again. And the state of Minnesota asked for the same thing. So not only did we support the state of North Dakota, we flew the floods in Minnesota this year as well. Prior to this expansion of the new operation in Texas, the Predator B that patrolled from Eastern California, Arizona, New Mexico, and the West Texas Big Bend National Park was operated from Sierra Vista, Arizona. But the new Texas mission will focus on the Texas-Mexican border exclusively, giving the CBP UAS mission very extensive coverage of the southwest border. CBP Air and Marine is the second largest operator of unmanned aircraft systems in the world, second only to the U.S. Air Force. For the past five years, CBP has been developing and deploying these systems nationwide. With the new Corpus Christi base, there are now four operational branches of unmanned aerial systems across the United States. Three of the aircraft operate out of Sierra Vista, Arizona two from Grand Forks, North Dakota, 
one out of Cape Canaveral, Florida, and the newest at Corpus Christi, Texas. For more information about the CBP UAS program, search UAS on CBP.gov. For CBP Frontline News, I'm Michael Pope. <music>